G'day, Peter here, back again. Uh, I'm here with Big Red and uh, I'm a 10 ton uh, gauge here and we're just uh, going to do some pressure tests on tiles. So let's see how it goes. We're testing terracotta tiles, um, the old ones and the new ones. So stay tuned and you'll see how much weight you can put on a terracotta tile in one spot uh, and uh, see when they break. Smashing tiles. So this is our setup. We've got a 12 ton jack at the top, the scale, and then across through there, we've actually got the tile suspended. Uh, and, and the way that I've, I've suspended it, so the jack's gonna jack this chain up. Uh, the tile's hold, held on there by this bar that runs straight through the middle. So <clears throat> if you're walking on these tiles you'd, and you're walking wrong, and you put your foot right in the middle of the tile, that's where the maximum weight would be, right in the middle of the tile. Uh, it's supported on this side by the beam at about where the tile would be covered and about where the batten would be on this side. So um, <clears throat> now, of course, this is pulling up on the tile, not pushing down like you would be with your foot. But <clears throat> I imagine that that probably doesn't make a heck of a lot of difference when, uh, when you're talking about the, the weight you put on a tile. So that's the standard terracotta tile there. Let's have a look at how much weight it takes. So, just going to start jacking him up now, taking the, taking the pressure. There we go, just starting to pull up on it now. 20 kilos, 30 kilos, 60 kilos, there we go, 80 kilos. So, oh, oh what's cracking there, I oh, see. So it's cracking now, uh, that was at 80 kilos, and uh, you can just see a, a hairline crack opening up. And now, if you were walking on this roof, this would actually be stronger than this because it'd be overlapped on this side and that side by another tile. So it would actually be stronger than that. So 80, 80 kilos was what we put on that before it, before it cracked, and let's, let's finish him off. <laughs> Love it. I think I might have find, found a problem with my setup. I've just put the other clay tile in there, and uh, and you can see it's on a slight angle. Uh, so that means there's actually more pressure pushing on that side of the tile, and that explains why the last one broke on that side and cracked on that side first. But that'll actually mean a reduction in the total pressure before it cracks. Uh, so, so I'll adjust this uh, uh, up to be flat and then uh, it should be a lot better experiment. Okay, so we're just set up here again with one of these, one of these traditional terracotta tiles. These are the ones that have been on everybody's house for 20 years. Uh, you know, they're, they're only about a hand span wide. Uh, they're not quite as tall as the, the normal uh, cement tiles and, uh, and they're you know, they're, they're a good honest tile, but tile production's come a long way in 20 years. So let's see how much weight it'll take. Okay, just gonna start jacking him up. Now these here, I broke one before at 80 kilos because I had the, the thing not quite level inside there, right? But, um, but, when you compare this against the modern ones, they just, they just don't, they're not anywhere near as strong. Yeah. So that's 90 kilos, 100 kilos. Oh, I think that might have broken just about, yeah. Oh, geez. Yep, that's actually broken. So, so 90, 90 kilos. There you go. Well, so the odd one of these tiles might take a bit, bit more weight than that. You know, your average person's not 90 kilos. On a roof, they would be stronger than that because they overlap tiles uh, more evenly and, and, and on both sides they got, you know, your weight spread across two or three tiles instead of just one. So it's obviously adequate. And, and in the thousands, like, and I mean about 10,000 roofs that I've been on in Australia, uh, I've never ever broken one of these terracotta tiles walking on it. Okay, we're just set up here with the next test on this cement tile. So let's see how it goes. Now the cement tile 
uh, is got the bar in the middle. Again, it's about the same distance apart as what it might be on your roof. Uh, your batten timber is about 50 mil wide and it'll run through underneath here behind these hooks, right? So, uh, and again, this is your overlap on the other tile now. Um, so that's, that's about right for where you might put your foot. Uh, and I made sure it was level this time before I um, started jacking it up. So let's uh, put some weight on it and see how it goes. Now it's just lifting the, uh, the steel beams there at the moment. They, they weigh a little bit extra, so in total that's 10 kilos. So you probably take 10 kilos off your result and be more slightly more accurate. Um, uh, anyway, here we go, 30, 36 kilos, 50 kilos. Now I don't expect these cement tile to be as strong as the terracotta, um, so it'll be interesting to see, but I reckon that's about to break now. I reckon it's pretty close. 100 kilos. 114 kilos, 120 kilos. Now the old style terracotta tile, it took 150 kilos on one test, so oh, it's just beating that now, there we go, 170 kilos, right, doing well, oh just started to hear something breaking, right, and see that, it must have cracked because it's lost 50 kilos, so, so it was up to 150 kilos, 160, and that's there we go so there you go now I've had to widen out my posts because these new clay tiles are actually a, a, a bit longer because they're the same as the modern cement tiles and so a little bit longer I've I've leveled it up now so it's all level and uh, so let's take it up and see uh, see what uh, pressure it stands okay so I was jacking that up and I got excited and it went straight up to 72 kilos straight away so uh, so anyway let's uh, keep lifting the jack up and see what it does 100 kilos 110 right that's good Tang said that uh, he got 150 kilos out of the terracotta one and let's see what this one does uh, that's the older style terracotta. Oh, there we go. 160. There you go, mate. Still there. 170. 80. <laughs> mate, that's nearly 200 kilos. There you go. 200 kilos. So. So. With this test, like, um, uh, there's not many people around that weigh 200 kilos and they're probably not gonna climb up a ladder onto a roof. But that's the strength of the modern clay tile. This is the thinner version of it, right? The thicker version will be stronger. But, uh, uh, but and, and we've got uh, like a one inch round bar running across the bottom and pulling up. So all of that pressure is applied to one point in a straight line that's, that's probably only that wide across the bottom so it's really a tough test for a tile as opposed to a big wide foot pushing down in the middle of the tile so that just gives you an idea how strong they are let's keep going with this test so, so it just came back a little bit uh, there let's put a bit more pressure on it 210 okay 220 130 250 kilos mate that's a strong tile well done the uh, the manufacturers of this tile should be proud of themselves when you hit it with a hammer it's hard to tell but like the, 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 the compression force of a hammer is huge. Mate, 300 kilos across that, across that bar there now. Mate, 
and it hasn't broken. 300 kilos. It, that, that's why you pay the extra money for the clay tiles in a, in a hailstorm or, or a cyclone. <laughs> there you go, 300 kilos. Uh, 300 kilos and then uh, <laughs> that's all it took. But Well, not all it took. That's, that's uh, a huge result from, uh, uh, from a little tile. So well done to uh, the terracotta mob that makes those tiles. Uh, if you want one of these tiles, I'm the importer into Australia, or well, or rather, the exporter from Vietnam, because I live in Vietnam. And uh, and so, uh, if you want some of them, let us know, uh, give us a call, and uh, we'll organise a container load or two to wherever you are in Europe or America or wherever. Now I know, you know, all the scientists in the room, and being how it's the internet, there's a lot of scientists will probably tell me all of the problems with this test as to why it's not, you know, uh, sufficiently accurate and all of those things. But, uh, but in my mind, it's very similar to how uh, I might walk on a roof uh, be because, you know, your pressure is only applied at the, the, at the peak part of the ridges of the tiles and things like that. Um, so I think it's a good test. But 160 kilos, that's for a cement tile. So that terracotta tile, is twice as good value when it comes to uh, putting it on the roof, hey, uh, for those modern terracottas. Anyway, uh, we'll do some more tests. Smashing tiles. Now I'm set up here with another one of these uh, terracotta tiles and look at how beautiful that is. Like as a, as a glaze finish on that tile, uh, that's uh, not the, um, uh, that, that's a really beautiful lustrous finish and, and the tile itself looks just like a normal cement tile. Uh, but when you look underneath it, it's obviously made of, of terracotta and, and it's actually got these, these extra strong ridges. So this one here, the tile itself is thicker and, and it's got a bit extra strength on these ridges to make it stronger. So let's uh, put it in the clamp, see how strong it really is. Okay, we're just going to start taking some weight on that now. Um, we've got that, got that terracotta tile in there. And we're just going up slightly. Slowly, slowly. Okay, 40, 50, 60. Okay. Okay, so we're just taking that tile up again. Oh, I just had to swap positions, so 100 kilos. Fifty kilos. All right. So this is about where that cement tile broke. So, so yep. Well, now the cement tile would have already broken. So, so value for money. Um, these terracotta tiles, the modern ones, are just virtually twice as strong. Um, but, but this is the heavy duty one. So the light duty one broke at three hundred kilos. All right. And we'll just see what the heavy duty one breaks at. This one's up to 200 kilos now. All right, 210. All right. I just love these new terracotta tiles. 240, mate. There's no way in the world you'd put that much weight on a tile just walking on it. Yeah. 270. I think we're getting up. Oh, it's starting to creak. That's me welds on me machine creaking, I think. 290. Come on, go you good thing. 300. 310. 320. There we go. It's, it's, it's better than the light duty one anyway, at the moment. Let's see how much better. 340. And that is a lot of weight on on tiny little area because because that metal bar is literally only resting on this dip in here and this dip in here right so it's only resting on two little points right so it's 300 kilos on those two little points on that metal bar so actually 346 kilos now let's keep going 360 eight. 
show you a good thing. All right, this is where we start putting bets on. Right, 400 kilos, that is strong. Hey, right, when you compare that to a cement tile, that is so strong. Why would you buy a cement tile? Well, you buy them because they're cheap rubbish and builders only sell those to people and tell them how great they are. Mate, 440 kilos. Mate, 440 kilos. And, and it's a natural product that you dig out of the ground and bake. That's all you do to it. Um, what a good, strong tile. Mate. Okay, so 460 kilos. It's 50% stronger at the moment than the light duty uh, version of this terracotta tile and it's three times stronger than a cement tile. Let's take him up a little bit more. Must be getting close to breaking. So it's three times stronger but it's, it's probably not three times the price even. Five hundred kilos. Mate, a half a ton on on two little points on that terracotta. Hey, starting to crack a bit, I don't know. Um, well, it's not actually cracking because it hasn't dropped down in, in strength yet, but it must be pretty close, must be pretty close. All right, let's keep going. 500, 20, oh, 520, yeah, it's 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 losing some of it. It's gonna break any time soon. <laughs> there we go. So so 525 kilos uh, for uh, uh, in the middle of two points on that terracotta tile. Now um, you know uh, I don't know why builders don't tell you this before you buy concrete tiles. For your brand new home but if you've got some big hailstones coming down I'd rather have these tiles on my roof than those cement tiles that they sell to everybody in those big development sites uh, pay a little extra get some good quality tiles uh, they're more environmentally friendly than cement tiles there's no cement in these they're just clay clay that's baked you know dig it out of the ground bake it in an oven um, uh, well, I mean, sure, they do a few extra things, but um, but they're they're more environmentally friendly and they're a fantastic product. So, mate, I'm really impressed with that. 525 kilos in two little spots, about this long, uh, in the middle of that tile. Uh, you could drive a car on your roof. <laughs> Not that you'd want to, but um, uh, but you know, if a plane crashed into your roof, it might bounce off. I don't know. <laughs> they're tough. I got the next candidate for getting smashed uh, to terracotta tile. It's actually a bigger terracotta tile. Uh, these are a lot bigger. These are the size of the normal cement tiles we buy in Australia. Um, and uh, uh, but look at the ridges on the bottom of it. It should be strong. Let's just put it in and see whether it's as strong as our other, maybe better quality, but uh, thinner ones. Anyway, we'll, we'll check it out. Okay, the next candidate set up here. We've got uh, that big, thick terracotta tile in here. Um, and have a look at that, you know. Now, see, the, see how thick these ridges are underneath it, right? Now, our other, our other terracotta tile, the industrial one from the other company, it broke at 525 kilos or something. So it'll be really interesting to see whether this one with the really big, thick ridges stacks up against that okay so we're just jacking him up now starting to take some yep just starting to take some weight so 40 kilos oh already up to 130 kilos that was quick now at this point the cement tile would have already broken. Um, it, so it's, it's fair to say, you know, when you buy terracotta, you're buying quality, right? 200 kilos. 
220 kilos. Mate. Yeah, 300 kilos is where the, the light duty uh, terracotta tile in that uh, modern cement um, tile type of look broke, right? So this one's beaten that one. Right. And let's see how far we go. 330, 370, 380, mate, 400. Go, you good thing. Right. It makes you wonder why builders don't tell you about this type of stuff when you're buying a house and you're putting a roof on it and you're thinking, do I put an iron roof on it or a tile roof? And, and you decide to go with tile because it looks nicer and that and then and then you find out years later that hey cement tiles just break under the weight of just over a human being you know 500 kilos wow look at that so that one's as strong as the other ones at this point virtually right in their heavy duty in their heavy duty range actually i don't think it made it i think it got to 510 right and i think the other one uh, uh, got to 525. We'll have to replay that and check it. I've broken hundreds and hundreds of cement tiles and it just goes to show that, that the cement tiles aren't anywhere near as strong but these new modern terracotta tiles are, 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 are three times and five times stronger than the old ones. So if, you, if you've looked at terracotta 20 years ago you know nothing about it. Um, it's changed Terracotta is a lot stronger now than cement and, uh, and I mean it's more natural, more environmentally friendly and they don't absorb water over time so they'll last forever. I can't brag enough about them. If you want some terracotta tiles, I live in Vietnam, uh, they're made here in Vietnam and we can export them around the world. So, so send us your orders, uh, we can produce thousands and thousands of them a, a year and uh, let's um, get, some, get some good tiles on your roofs.